among the gods, there is none like you, O Lord, for you are great and do marvelous deeds. You alone, O God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And the Holy Spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate this sacrament. You are sent of the contract of heart, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You intercede for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Now, mighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Pour your grace into our hearts, we pray, O Lord, that we may be constantly drawn away from unruly desires and obey by your own gift the heavenly teaching you give us. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <coughs> A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, Return, O Israel, to the Lord your God. You have collapsed through your guilt. Take with your words and return to the Lord. Say to him, Forgive all iniquity and receive what is good, that we may render as offerings the bullocks from our stalls. Assyria will not save us, nor shall we have horses to mount. We shall say no more, Our God, to the work of our hands, for in the orphan for in you the orphan finds compassion. I will heal their de defection, says the Lord. I will love them freely, for my wrath is turned away from them. I will be like the dew for Israel, who shall blossom like the lily. He shall strike root like the Lebanon cedar, and put forth his shoots. His splendor shall be like the olive tree, and his fragrance like the Lebanon cedar. Again they shall dwell in his shade, and raise grain. They shall blossom like the vine, and his fame shall be like the wine of Lebanon. Ephraim, what more has he to do with idols? I have humbled him, but I will prosper him. I am like a verdant cypress tree. Because of me you bear fruit. Let him who is wise understand these things. Let him who is prudent know them. Straight are the paths of the Lord. In them the just walk, but sinners stumble in them. The word of the Lord. Thank you, God. Our response to our song. <laughs> I am the Lord your God. Hear my voice. I am the Lord your God. Hear my voice. An unfamiliar speech I hear. I relieved his shoulder of the burden. His hands were freed from the basket. In distress you called, and I rescued you. I, I am the Lord, Lord your God. God. Hear my voice. voice. Unseen, I answered you in thunder. I tested you at the waters of Meribah. Hear, me, hear my people, and I will admonish you. O Israel, will you not hear me? I, I am the Lord, Lord your God. Hear my voice. There shall be no strange God among you, nor shall you worship any alien God. I, the Lord, am your God, who led you forth from the land of Egypt. I, I am the Lord, Lord your God. God. Hear my voice. If only my people would hear me, and Israel walking in, in my ways, I would feed them with the best of wheat, and with honey from the rock I would fill them. I am the Lord your God. Hear my voice. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Repent, says the Lord, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to God. One of the scribes came to Jesus and asked him, Which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, The first is this. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. 
The second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no greater commandment than these. The scribe said to him, Well said, teacher. You are right in saying, He is one and there is no other than he. And to love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself is worth more than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw that he answered with understanding, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And no one dared to ask him any more questions. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning. Good morning, Father. In our study of the Psalms, today we hear Psalm 81. So often in our Psalms, they're written where it's the voice of the psalmist or us in our, in our place crying out to God. In Psalm 81, it's God speaking to us, reminding us of his great works, of his faithfulness in the past, which led me to remember a question posed to me a, a quite some time ago of someone, and it was posed in a, and it wasn't in a derogatory and insulting way. It was a sincere question, wondering why is it we don't see the same great signs that the early church witnessed. You know, why is it we don't see these things? To which I, I'm baffled, I, I don't know. Um, we, we see signs, yes. Uh, I mean, extraordinary things, like if you read the life of Saint Padre Pio, wow, by location, knowing someone, you know, that's amazing what he was able to do in the confessional. Okay, so we see those signs. But the question that the person asked, I think, really centered on one thing, and this is in Psalm 81. God says to them, these are the great things I did for you. These, This is my faithfulness to you. But, and there's always that statement, but you failed to obey me. You failed to live up to what I ask of you. And I think that that is still probably in play today. Well, not probably. I think it is still in play today where we turn to God so often as we do and say, God, we need you to do X. But have we obeyed him prior to that request? Will we obey him after that request? Or do we look at God as some type of, well, divine um, vending machine that we only insert our coins as our prayers to him, then choose what we want, push the button, boom, it pops out, we got it, and we don't need God until the next time we crave something from the divine vending machine. Possibly, possibly, I can't generalize, but it's possibly true. And I say that because, have I done that in the past? Yes. And if you were like me in the past, uh, maybe in your prayer you went to God and said, God, I need you at this time, at this place, at this location, I need this result. Come on. And then when I didn't get it, well, do you even care? Do you even exist? I did not get the the, the, the ring-a-ding-dongs or whatever they're called that I wanted from the vending machine. Therefore, I question the existence of the vending machine. Well, still think. The Psalm 81 reminds us, if you obey him, you can see great things. We may not see a priest who by locates. We may not see a priest who raises others from the dead. We might not have a multiplication of loaves and fishes. It might be something much more profound than those. The forgiveness of sins through the sacrament of reconciliation, bringing a soul back to God. It may be giving him to those through the Eucharist. Those are two of the greatest miracles where the priest says, 
God do this and God obeys the words of the priest no matter how bad the priest is he still obeys for your sake to come upon the altar become present in the Eucharist and to forgive your sins when you ask two great miracles that we often glance over now mighty God be with you may he bless you the Father, Son, Holy Spirit Amen, Amen. Amen. Together as one family in faith, we offer to God our prayers. And our <coughs> we pray for our Holy Father, for Archbishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians. We pray to the Lord. Lord we, pray. Pray. we pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way this day. We, we pray to the Lord. Lord we, pray. Pray. we pray for the needs of our brothers and sisters who will watch this Mass on video and for the needs of you here present in our chapel today. We pray to the Lord. Lord we pray. And we pray this Mass. For our future, especially as I go today to present the the plan of six years working, the plan to move the parish to Saraland. For this and for God's will and whatever happens, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord yeah. Yeah. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude asking Mary, the Mother of God, to intercede for us as we say. Hail Mary, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands have become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept sacrifice in your hands. For praise and glory of his name. Holy Look with favor, we pray, Lord, on the offerings we dedicate, that they may be pleasing in your sight and always be salutary for us, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. The Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for through bodily fasting, you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven, the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices we pray join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Sanctus, 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 Dominus Deus Sabaoth, Venus Nocelia Terra, Gloria Tua, Hosanna in Excelsis, Benedictus qui veni in nomine Domini, Hosanna in Excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the default, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and took willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. 
do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim the Lord and the Christian resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, you may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the life of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed of Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As the Savior's command is formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil. Deliver us, Lord, in praise from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory, and the glory and the Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Live not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to suffer of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy but only say the word, to my soul shall be healed. <clears throat> to love God with all your heart and your neighbor as yourself is worth more than any sacrifice. <clears throat> Let us pray. 
may your strength be at work in us, O Lord, pervading our minds and bodies, that what we have received by participating in this sacrament may bring us the fullness of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Amen. Now, mighty God, bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer to Saint Michael. Holy Holy Michael, Michael the Archangel. May our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke and be humble to her, and to you, O Prince of Heaven, be blessed by the divine power. Rush to hell, saving all the evil spirits who wander through the world, seeking the ruins of the souls. Amen. The divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be His own name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, the God of the man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus, the most holy sign of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Catholic. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be the Holy Immaculate Conception. Blessed be the Holy Assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, the most chaste spouse. Blessed be God, the angels and the saints.